thought to make up roughly 85% of all matter in the universe, dark matter has never been observed directly and remains one of the biggest unsolved mysteries in modern physics. Despite not knowing what exactly dark matter is, experts do know that it is an essential part to the formation of galaxies. However, dark matter cannot be seen because it emits no light. But scientists know it is there as something is within the galaxies which is not visible to the human eye or using scientific instruments. So what exactly is this mysterious space entity called dark matter? And why are scientists making every possible effort to solve it? Join us today as we are going to talk about the mystery of dark matter that has finally been solved. Let's get started. Dark matter is an elusive substance that is invisible and almost never detected, except by its gravitational pull. Yet astronomers say it likely makes up a quarter of the entire universe and dwarfs the amount of normal matter including galaxies, stars, and planets out there in space. This might come as a surprise, but we don't really know exactly what makes up our entire universe. Don't freak out though, because an Oxford scientist has proposed a new theory that may put to bed one of the greatest mysteries of the cosmos. Scientists long believed that the universe was expanding but would eventually slow down. When NASA's Hubble telescope came along and started looking out into space, it found something weird. The universe was not slowing down, it was expanding at an accelerating rate. It didn't make sense and astrophysicists could not explain it. They toiled with a few competing theories but have largely settled on this. 95% of the universe is made up of dark matter and dark energy, two phenomena we cannot see but which scientists infer exist because of their effects on the things we can see. Dark matter and dark energy have been considered separate phenomena. But Jamie Farnes, an astrophysicist at Oxford University, believed that both dark matter and dark energy might exist together as a dark fluid of negative masses. The fluid would then possess a negative gravity. Instead of pulling objects toward it, it would push them away. It's an unusual concept, but not a new one. Farnes's theory, published in the scientific journal Astronomy and Astrophysics, comes to explain a few of the bizarre properties of the universe. For one, galaxies spin so fast that they should rip themselves apart, but it seems a dark matter halo prevents such destruction. In addition, the new theory suggests the negative mass, dark fluid, may cause these halos to form. The negative matter presents a problem though because it suggests that dark energy would become less dense over time. An observation suggests that this isn't the case. That dark energy stays relatively constant. Thus, Farnes uses the theory of matter creation. The idea that more and more of the stuff constantly bursts into existence and replenishes the negative matter that disappears. His paper uses a great illustrative concept for the model. Space-time is empty but behaves almost like popcorn, with more negative masses continuously popping into existence. Delicious. So the dark fluid theory is just that, a theory, based on a computer simulation and math. Farnes himself is cautious as it could be wrong and scientists are right to be suspicious. On the face of it, it comes up with some of the features of our universe but the question is now, can it explain the other observations we have of the universe? Said Geraint Lewis, professor of astrophysics at the University of Sydney. There's a whole bunch of tests we have to do first before we can say this is equivalent to our current understanding. And then we need to find out what predictions this model makes that the current cosmological model would fail at. Therefore, one of the key things that will need to be resolved is the issue around the negative mass. Lewis explains that we don't know the nitty gritty behind the mechanisms that might create such a phenomenon. We can write down equations for various things, but whether or not those things are physically realized, we don't know until we actually go out and test the universe, he said. That means there's work to do 
and that work is already underway at places like CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, to examine the existence of negative masses similar to those proposed by Farns. Another project, the Square Kilometer Array, which will be the world's largest radio telescope when built, could also help Farns' theory get off the ground, so to speak. We've always got to be pushing the frontier of fundamental physics, because every time we open up a new area, at first it seems esoteric and weird, but eventually it flows into our everyday lives," said Lewis. Apart from these theories, scientists have presented another considerable argument. The visible universe, including Earth, the Sun, other stars and galaxies, is made of protons, neutrons, and electrons bundled up into atoms. Perhaps one of the most surprising discoveries of the 20th century was that the ordinary, or baryonic matter, makes up less than 5% of the mass of the universe. On the other hand, the rest of the universe appears to be made of a mysterious, invisible substance called dark matter, and a force that repels gravity known as dark energy. So, as mentioned earlier, scientists have not yet observed dark matter directly. It doesn't interact with baryonic matter, and it's completely invisible to light and other forms of electromagnetic radiation, making dark matter impossible to detect with current instruments. But scientists are confident it exists because of the gravitational effects it appears to have on galaxies and galaxy clusters. For instance, according to standard physics, stars at the edge of a spinning spiral galaxy should travel much slower than those near the galactic center where a galaxy's visible matter is concentrated. But observations show that stars orbit at more or less the same speed, regardless of where they are in the galactic disk. This puzzling result makes sense if one assumes that the boundary stars are feeling the gravitational effects of an unseen mass, dark matter, and a halo around the galaxy. Dark matter could also explain certain optical illusions that astronomers see in the deep universe. For example, pictures of galaxies that include strange rings and arcs of light could be explained if the light from even more distant galaxies is being distorted and magnified by massive invisible clouds of dark matter in the foreground, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. So, scientists have a few ideas for what dark matter might be. One leading hypothesis is that dark matter consists of exotic particles that don't interact with normal matter or light, but that still exert a gravitational pull. Other scientists think the effects of dark matter could be explained by fundamentally modifying our theories of gravity. According to such ideas, there are multiple forms of gravity, and the large-scale gravity governing galaxies differs from the gravity to which we are accustomed. Dark energy is even more mysterious, and its discovery in the 1990s was a complete shock to scientists. As we have discussed previously, physicists had assumed that the attractive force of gravity would slow down the expansion of the universe over time. But to prove this further, two independent teams tried to measure the rate of deceleration, and they found that the results of the previous experiments were actually true, because expansion was actually speeding up. One scientist likened the finding to throwing a set of keys up in the air, expecting them to fall back down, only to see them fly straight up toward the ceiling. Scientists now think that the accelerated expansion of the universe is driven by a kind of repulsive force generated by quantum fluctuations in otherwise empty space. What's more, the force seems to be growing stronger as the universe expands. Many scientists have also pointed out that the known properties of dark energy are consistent with a cosmological constant a mathematical band-aid that Albert Einstein added to his theory of general relativity to make his equations fit with the notion of a static universe. According to Einstein, the constant would be a repulsive force that counteracts gravity, keeping the universe from collapsing in on itself. Einstein later discarded the idea when astronomical observations revealed that the universe was expanding, calling the cosmological constant his biggest blunder. So, now that we can see the expansion of the universe is accelerating, 
Adding in dark energy as a cosmological constant could nearly explain how space-time is being stretched apart. But that explanation still leaves scientists clueless as to why the strange force exists in the first place. And this is it for today. What are your thoughts on today's video? Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.